Hello, I want to say thank you to all the Aries readers, uh, tarot readers, oracle readers, and I also want to say a uh, special thanks to uh, Bridget Hetzelbone, who is a, a healer, a massage therapist, a, a um, mod uh, healer. Uh, I also want to say thanks to other people, uh, Mike Taro, uh, being read by Mike, uh, you know who you are, Mike, I appreciate all the reads you ever did, all the blessings you ever gave to me, just as you always appreciate the blessings of the others, um, I have, uh, come into a realization of, uh, CIA documents uh, that that kind of support my my weakness of of my own thoughts about myself. Uh, for a long, long time, I've been um, believing that uh, I'm supposed to live like Christ or uh, be like Christ, but these documents say that we are. God, in creation of God, we can be um, the creator of our circumstance. And in that creation, we can do and be and you, you know, all of you, uh, as long as it's in guidelines of uh, the divine one's desire for your destiny uh i don't know why you can't just tap in and say i now accept uh the divine course of my life that's been granted to me because i am worthy and and i can take that on and, and uh, also could supplement some of my thought patterns with some of the more positive things that you can see on the internet uh, you know, really don't take those things that um, are read for you. If you were uh, watching a tarot card reading or an oracle reading and uh, um, give those people the benefit of the doubt. Um, uh, I'm, you know, still very confused about those people I really care about. Uh, one of my, I, I, I don't contact very often and it becomes a um, remembrance of the, uh, events that really brought me and this person together but uh um solely it's like we're already present in you know in this presence uh accomplishing those manifestations and being those pre people that we want to be and in the patience of this guidance from god's divine angels and ancestors and uh all that uh all those names that you passed in every mailbox and all those people that have uh, taken on bringing down the uh, divinity onto a planet, our planet's heart and making uh, the heart swell from new energy and the earth change and the fifth dimension open and all of our lives are in reality of being the God presence that we've been created to be. And we all just bring it down for each other. And, you know, that way we're swelling our energies and, and bounding from one another those things that we truly want from one another, making it very uh, possible for us all to expand into the plentiful abundance and you know you have your career love and uh and strife and uh all those things that uh seem so impossible can be put away closed in the uh uh, Monroe Institute box you just it's the uh, change of 
energy, the positive energy, you take it, you put it away, put it in the box, turn away from the box and face the the um, hemisync uh, slash uh, seven second deep breath in, good feelings in, you know, breaths out, follow their instruction. And apparently the uh, Central Intelligence Agency of the United States knows that uh, it's possible to be God. So be God and do the right for those around you so that you can bring in the, the divinity for yourself. Um, know that they're, you know, honor those people that are around you that uh, that you know of. Uh, you don't even have to have them around you. You can just look out into the distance and see the vehicles on the highway or the airplane in the sky and the, uh, uh, you know, spaceship launcher, whatever uh, group of individuals that you want to bless for yourself. I mean, you're not blessing them without good tidings and good cheer for yourself. I mean, you bring cheer to others and bring cheer to yourself. So make people laugh as much as you can. Um, even do silly things. I mean, you can pretend you're a, um, a mime when you're actually, you know, someone that's doing ventriloquists, uh, throwing voices or something. But uh, whatever it is that makes you feel silly at the moment may also be a message like uh, a mime. Look at that mime over there. She's, or he, all I have now is a picture of the action that she could be taking. And I can make her into like this person stuck on the border of a hug or or him for those that want to think of it as a him or, like or stuck on a, a distance in the world or um all those things aren't true I mean, they're just um moments in time uh right now abundance is happening uh the world's about to change currencies abundance is happening for a lot of people but uh you know a new process of giving everybody a chance on the on the planet uh gold backed uh you know real currencies that have value and uh deflationary currencies that are creating even more value instead of printing off more dollars and things are happening in the world and the blessings things to be patient for and know that they are intended for you as a blessing if you recognize them as something that's possible for you in your life or want in your life so um be blessed bless yourself uh watch watch current events on youtube um don't take all the paid black rock uh, advertisement and um, things that aren't um, kosherly created and meant for your wisdom to recognize seep in anymore. Just put the uh, focus on not thinking so much about, I'm thinking a whole lot uh, just making this video, but really I should just be focused on I'm sorry for my snoring, but uh, focused on something positive that's happening right now. The present's all you have, you know, don't regret the past, and don't get ang anxiety from thinking about the future. Um, know that those things that you're tapped into and your soul's connect to are going to always be there, and that people can be you know, with discernment, um, and, uh, without confusion, communicating and know each other safely, you know, um, 
don't feel there's an, you know, communities around you and they're all talking about you. Don't have like auditory hallucinations and become too crazy about your life. People all want you to have the clarity of God and just focus on God. Uh, <laughs> And, and being God yourself, it's funny, right? Be the temple and uh, keep it mentally uh, clear of all feeling of guilt by knowing you're saved from your guilt, but also that uh, you have miraculous ability all just at your third eye uh, consciousness and your your voice and your magic and your magic I say your spelling well a spell word spelling your spelling your spelling and you don't know it magic yeah divinity yeah I know what you're saying in the Old Testament New Testament real life um, communication needs to be there but we have to see our divinity. Um, best probably not to say many things. Uh, the tongue is going to sway you this way and that. Your mind is going to accomplish things that you don't realize if you just let divinity take hold. Listen to a higher frequency. Um, try the hemisync. Uh, if you don't, uh, from uh, the Monroe Institute, uh, you know, CIA approved uh, God consciousness and, you know, follow their click out. That's a big word, click out. We're at uh, 12.05, it was like eight. Anyway, click out is very important. Um, in the Monroe Institute, when you click out, that means you've actually gotten rid of those things and put them away and you become the most positive self that you could be and now you're now manifesting completely your inner world and map and life expectancy is all out into the 